SR93 Boxing, I'm back with a quick video. Tony Bellew is now shook. Now, um, if you have seen the press conference between David and Tony Bellew, uh, you know, they went, they kind of went head to head and what really happened was David Hay was kind of pushing his head, pushing him a little bit with his head. They kind of head, it didn't really clash, but they put their heads together face to face and then David Hay kind of pushed with his head a little bit. If you saw slow motion, you'd be able to tell that's the case. Which I don't think he should have been doing, but at the same time, Tony Bellew pushed him real hard. And uh, as soon as he did that, David Hay came with a quick, I mean, a quick left hook. A real quick left hook. And, you know, it wasn't something that had a lot of power to it, but, you know, it, it was quick. And I think it kind of shook him a little bit. It shook him up a little bit. It's just uh, he didn't see that coming. No one saw that coming. But, you know... um. Everyone's going, not everyone, so a lot of people going around and say, oh, David Hay put his hands on whatever. Some people actually feel like Tony Bellew deserved it. And you know, in my opinion, I think he does. Because Tony Bellew's going around now talking about um, David Hay's unprofessional, this and that. He's a, like, I'm not a thug, this and that. He's now a businessman. He's just now a professional now. It's crazy. And you know, David Hay did kind of do some unprofessional acts there. Like, he, he put his head there and trying to push him with that head. But, you know, Tony Bellew is not exactly the most professional fighter out there. As soon as he beat his opponents, he... As soon as he beat his uh, recent opponent, rather, he looked like he's about to fight David Hay. He wanted David Hay right then and there, right? That's what he wanted. Or it seemed like. Tony Bellew, not only like... he He's really unprofessional throughout... The, his big unprofessional mouth is the reason why this fight is happening. Truth be told... David Hay picked uh, the other guy. I can't remember his name, and because the other guy normally spars David Hay, and I'm, I don't know if he he might be also working in the same gym as David Hay, but I don't know about that. Tony Belly, and you know he picked Tony Belly. Uh, he picked Hay. Sorry, the other guy to win. David Hay did, uh, and uh, I guess Tony Belly took it personal. Tony Belly had a big mouth. He was talking shit about David Hay, and that's the reason why it happened. If you look at early Tony Bellew's pre uh, career, he's been doing this shit. Tony Bellew's been doing he his some of his press conferences against Nathan Nathan Cleverly. Man, he slapped his he slapped his hand, didn't he? He always had a big mouth, not just against him. BJ Flores, like BJ Flores. Um, I don't know how you pronounce his name. I think it's Flores. Let's just call him BJ. No homo. Yeah, he. Like in the face off, like obviously they did a little bit of um, trading words, and Tony Belly was the one with the biggest mouth there. BJ Flores then faced the um, media. Tony Belly still was facing his opponent, like like as if he was still doing the face off, and he was still talking shit. Tony Belly is very arrogant. He has a very big mouth. And which is fine. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you do. You're not. You know, exempt. I mean, the law doesn't prevent you from doing that. But all of a sudden, you know, he met his match. When it comes to a big mouth, David Hayes showed him what time it is. That he's not just going to talk shit over him like that. You know, Tony Belly really deserved it. That's really what he deserved for all that shit talking he's been doing on his career. He, to, go, to be honest, I find him really annoying as fuck. And, you know, I'm glad that and David Hay did his thing, man. I don't care. People might hate David Hay, this and that, but... He did his thing in that press conference, man. Fuck what everyone thought. Tony Bellew deserved that shit. Tony, no one likes to see that. Look, he's, he acts like all this bad man and all that. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with not being a bad man. Actually, to be honest, I prefer you not being a so-called bad man because that's not the way forward, man. That's not the way forward. I hate people who, who are like that. But he's he was acting like this so-called bad man. And then all of a sudden, you push him. This guy's not going to have it. This guy just... Put you with a quick ass left hook, a quick ass left hook, man, and then you got shook because you know if he can throw a punch like that while he's being pushed, you know for a fact he can throw punches real quick in the ring, and you know he punches hard. It'd be a short night for you, you know that now. That's why you're shook, and you also shook, you're like a spoiled, um, you're like one of them spoiled people, man. You're so used to like bullying people in the uh, press conferences and shit, putting them down. But you know you ain't gonna put this guy down. He put you down as he just put you down. He made you 
You made you this little bitch, man. So that's all I have to say, man. This is the truth be told, man. Tony Bellew deserved this shit. And he's going to lose. Which is fine. I mean, fighters do lose. But he did deserve that little quick ass left hook there. And he can bitch about all he wants. But he deserved it. Look at look at you, Tony. Look at you. Look at what the shit that you've done in your career. That's really all I have to say. I'm SR93 Boxing. I'm out.